Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. We're about to start the fourth season now in the Skybet Championship. And yeah, we did some transfers and let's really get into it. Let's see what's, what's going on. So first of all, let's get into some club vision stuff. So we uh, are doing some things to the club. If you have been following the Patreon, I've posted a little spoiler there to show that our stadium is in the cur in currently being expanded. Let's have a look at the facilities. We are um, expanding our stadium by 4,200 uh, 4, seats. Uh, so we're temporarily uh, using Bristol City's stadium. Ashton Gate, while our stadium is being expanded, it will be completed uh, by May. So the whole season we're going to be playing in Bristol. In other news, we are also improving our youth facilities. Uh, so that will be um, finished, I think, not too far, like October, I think. I couldn't see it in the club vision. Yeah, there we go, October, 20th of October. So we're gonna have better youth facilities by then. Um, anything else that we've improved? Oh yeah, new affiliate clubs. Yes, plural. Affiliate clubs, one senior affiliate and one affiliate. So have a look at this. We're now in a partnership with Slavon Belupo from Croatia. Um, they uh, basically just for some knowledge uh, so we can get to know some creation players that's the basic aim of it and we swapped over from Liverpool to Arsenal just because they pay a little bit better and there were a couple of players that I could potentially be interested in but I, that didn't materialize in the end now let me put the notes on the side and we're gonna have a look at the transfers that we did so you'll see that some of the players on the list have uh, are sort of familiar to us uh, a lot of them are still the same from last season a lot of them have come back either from the youth setup or from loans but we do have about three new faces that we've not met before so starting with the goalkeepers we are keeping tom yates because he's now a he's now f uh, he was favorite personnel he's now an icon uh, he did really well for us last season with 40 appearances in all, 32 goals conceded, 19 clean sheets. Fantastic player for us, so helping us with that. Duncan Wright played for us a couple of seasons ago. He then got relegated to the under-23 squad. He's now back uh, and he's going to basically shadow Tom Yates. He did most of the season, the season previous to that, because Tommy Yates had an injury, so he, he, he couldn't play that season very much. Uh, no changes in the right back positions. We still have Andrew and Richard South. Richard South, by the way, a lot of clubs are interested in him, so you need to keep them at bay. In the centre back position, we made one small change. We relegated Gareth Batch back to the end of 23s he you remember in the last episode i said he only came up for a month or so um it was like a backup center back and we went back and actually bought harry hagen who was with us previously on a couple of occasions on loan uh but he's now with us for good so he's probably going to retire at the club so he's now our new backup center back and the left side of the fence, I'll, actually I'll come back to that because that's the biggest news. Um, sadly, no improvement to the halfback position and only a marginal improvement to the boxer box. We sold Simon Parnell for, by about 1k, <laughs> we just got rid of him. And Morgan Clark has come back from his tantrum and his loan as well. So he no longer wants to leave the club and he's back now for that position. On the right um, uh, of the attack, if you remember, Antonio Santos had agreed with Colorado, so he's now gone to the MLS. So we had to replace him, and we brought in this kid, ba uh, Danny Bates, on loan from Scotland, I think. Ireland? Scotland? Where's he from? Scottish, yeah. Scotland. So um, 
yeah so he's going to be our new inside forward for the um shadow striker position we got a kid on loan zach gibson from newcastle so he's replacing chaos essentially so that's our replacement for chaos who was only with us last season on loan and no changes to the left side of attack so mark dots and noon still with us and we've got a new backup striker timmy graham uh, on loan with us from doncaster now the biggest news is our new left back so we still have Olier um, O'Neill. We relegated Emmanuel Ezzi back to the under 23s and completely lost my head in this and went we we've made our first big transfer except it was very big as in very expensive. Ryan Albert He's probably not worth the money that I paid for him, but I did try to lower and lower and lower the price and to up to a point that I couldn't lower it anymore. They just wouldn't accept it. So I played, I paid 4.6 million for Ryan Albert, Portuguese left, uh, left fullback. Yeah, let's see if he's worth it. I don't know if he is. <laughs> we'll find out. This could be a terrible mistake. So yeah, we've made our first big tra transfer. Uh, we got we paid 76k for Harry Hagen, and everyone, everyone else came on loan. Uh, we got a player poached by Arsenal on free. Obviously, Antonio Santos was poached by Colorado. We made two small transfers. Mike Allen is again out on loan because he's that temperamental kid. Um, I wanted to sell him, but no one was buying. And then we had a 100k offer for Paul Tweet, and I accepted it because, you know, might as well uh, have him off. Um, anyone else left on? Um, free transfers. Just trying to check. I know a couple of players obviously have retired, so that will be Antony. Oh, he wasn't in the first team anyway. Yeah, no, not really. I just trimmed down the end of 23s a little bit, so I released a few players and I sold the rest. Um, so that's it. Uh, Finance-wise, bearing in mind that we spent some money improving the youth facilities, we got a full loan for our stadium in, um, improvement, and we spent 4.6 million on one player. Bearing all of that in mind, we still have 1.2 million in the bank. That will disappear quickly, I think. I think that will be gone in about two months. Which is a sad bit. But yeah, so, so that is the team. We are expected to be relegated. That is the media prediction, I think. Yeah, but we're not bottom anymore. We used to be bottom of the pecking order, but we're not bottom anymore. The two highlighted players for us, it, well, it better be Albert because we paid a lot of money for him. And Emmanuel Ezzi, who actually no longer plays in the first team. He plays in the end of 23s now. Now, my plan with the end of 23s is to attempt to sell all of these guys in the top, top age bracket uh, in January. So make some money out of them in January, including Emmanuel Ezzi. So... Hopefully that will give us a bit of a buffer in the January review to improve the squad further. Now let's jump into a match. I'm playing against Swansea. Um, we'll see if we can play one or maybe two matches, depending on how the how fast this match goes. We did a preseason, and I've selected these players to start. Um, Timmy hasn't actually played for us yet. He only just arrived to the team so that'll be his first player altogether it's his first game altogether with us and yeah without further ado let's go okay so we are playing at Swansea now I I know that we bought a stadium once before but I can't quite remember 
how it works in terms of um, gate, rece gate receipts. I think we still have gate receipts, but we have to maybe like pay a certain fee to Bristol to use our stadium. So it won't be as much as we would normally get if it was our own stadium, I don't think. But it's a stadium of much bigger capacity, so oh, we have a goal here. Okay, so Mark Dodds, who? I can't remember. I, can't, I didn't quite see. I was tidying up my notes. So Graham, who's the striker, did the cross and then Jardine fed Dodds. Very good. Nice play. That's the offside check. So, yeah, still no youth leagues, which is odd because we are now category three. We have been category three since the beginning of last season. So I'm not sure why we're not in leagues. We should be in youth leagues. Oh, Dodds is injured. Okay, Craig Noon to the rescue. I hope that's not a serious injury. Okay, half time. Let's make some subs. Um, take Bates out, put right in. And I don't, well, I suppose I could put Clark. Clark at the front. Okay, cross into the box, and it's a penalty. Timmy Graham has an opportunity to score a goal on his debut. And he scores. Well done. 18 year old Timmy Graham. First, his first professional match, maybe even. Uh, definitely his first match for us. And his first goal. Starting well. Now, that Dodd's injury. I Hoping it's not serious, but even if it is, even if he's out of action for a while, Craig Noon is a very competent backup, so um, it won't be it won't be like devastating for us. Although he is the captain, so and Zach Gibson, our new shadow striker, is the vice captain at the moment. Swansea are putting a lot of pressure in now. We have a sea of yellow cards. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a fine, I think. Five yellow cards, I think it's a fine. There we go, we start off with a win. Mark Dodds, injured for five weeks. Okay, so that's not too bad. Tom Yates, starting off with man of the match already. A good start for him. Let's see if we can play one more match in this episode. I'll do a little bit of rotation so you can get to see all the players. 
Uh, this is the last young kid that we're trying to sell. Um, I want to go with 2.3. Let's try that. Okay, so we've raked in our old final season tickets. I'm going to play Walsall for, uh, next. Walsall just came up from <coughs> the Skybet 1, so they are in theory inferior to us in quality. Obviously that's, you know, in theory. Okay, how about just the price? Come on. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of him too. And that'll be the last, I think, that... The last player that I need to sell, and then it'll be just 22 players in the end, 23s, as we like it. I'm not selling Craig Noon, especially not now. Thank you very much. I've also made quite a big improvement to the um, staff. So as you can see now, we have pretty good staff throughout. Uh, I didn't bother with performance analysts. I got a head of performance analysis, so that's fine. Also didn't bother with recruitment analysts. That's all good. That too. And I've also made improvements to the under 23 staff um, and the under 18s staff as well. Again, I didn't bother with the whole collection of coaches so I'm trying not to be because I'm 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 aware that the club is you know tight in terms of money um, I don't want to overspend on things that aren't absolutely necessary so so let's play the new all the new players this might obviously this is risky because obviously basically doing a full rotation and that's possibly not a very good idea but it's just so you have a flavor for all of the players. Uh, I'm gonna play with Morgan for this one. Declan Wright. Gibson, we're gonna have to play Noon anyway. And we're gonna play Shiny. So now we need to fix our bench. We got left backs. I'm gonna need him in and I'm gonna need someone who can do a left wing so I'm gonna to have to look at my under 23s for this leaf fleet I think okay let's try leaf fleet on the bench uh, if I can find him Fleet. There he is. Okay, so we have a full bench full of options for all of the positions. Uh, let's look at the tactics, see what the coaches say. We're gonna remove early crosses, low crosses, and shooting on sight. We're gonna use tighter -tight marking, We're gonna play with more width. And as always, I'm going to go positive. Uh, playing also, um, they are in 14th, aren't they? So they drew that previous match against somebody. Who did they draw against? Senior squad, uh, schedule, there we go. QPR. I can't remember where QPR came from. Ah, also from League One. Okay. So in, th in, th in theory, this should be a nice game for us. We're also playing at home. I mean, we're playing in Bristol, but it is our new home. We're definitely not filling up the stadium. <laughs>
Okay, here we go. Craig Noon. Oh, gosh, that's... Needs to realign his foot, I think. A little bit of calibration necessary. Ooh, Albert's on his yellow card already. <clears throat> Two minutes in, and he's already on a yellow card. That doesn't bode well. Okay. Um, Mike is not on the bench, but we have Finley. Let's try that. Come on, boys. Right. Time for intervention. Let's get him out because he's got a yellow card anyway. And... <sighs> it's difficult decisions now. We've got Neil Moot who needs to come out. striker anymore that I can put in. Well, I do, but not really. Okay, so it's a decision between Neil and uh, Declan. Yeah, there we go. Let's put Neil Moot, I think. Okay, so Alan Jardine came in and he's doing all right although Declan is very tired but so was the other guy so that's all right there we go shiny steals the ball is he fast enough not quite well okay but he gets he doesn't get a corner oh, shame Oh, free kick. I can't remember who gets these now. Okay, Zach Gibson, the new Shadow Striker, also Vice Captain. No penalty awarded. Okay, it's a draw, but at least it's a draw. I was expecting more than that against Walsall, but at least we didn't lose. So we are currently second placed. Uh, there's a few teams to play still. And I will carry on and meet you again around the around February, around January, February, just to see how the league is going and any new transfers that we'll do in the January review. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also check out the uh, description for links, including the link to Patreon. I'll see you next one. Bye bye.